This is problem 4-69. This problem has to do with thermal expansion. Uh, the equation for thermal expansion is the the, ch the change in length due to thermal expansion is going to be the linear coefficient of the material itself. Could be the, like aluminum will have a value, bronze will have a value, steel will have a value, times the change in temperature in Celsius times the length the material the material is. So when you have a problem like this, it's the material is in equilibrium and then you're going to change the temperature. When you do, each one of these will expand and when they expand they want to become longer but these two walls are fixed. So if it's a result, if you do your force body diagram that causes a force in the wall because the wall is going to want to push back against the material to prevent it from expanding. So if you look at each one of these um, Oops, let me get a rectangle. Let me hang on, let me get a rectangle, here we go. Let's say you have the first one here, and again, this is a little rough. You got a second one here, and then you got another one <clears throat> like this. Then the force that's being applied is consistent throughout. Because you can call this value to be F and you can call this value to be F. Again, that's a result of just because of the change in temperature. So if I draw a free body diagram of this one, then by itself, if I have F being applied here, like this, then F would have to be applied here also. It has to be in equilibrium. Same way here, if I'm causing a force here, then on this little, on this one, if I pull it out by itself, it's also going to have the same force going back like this and like this. So each piece basically has the same force being applied to it, which makes sense because everything has to be in equilibrium. So to solve this problem, what you can do is to say that you know the deflection from A to D must equal zero because this object again is fixed. The walls aren't going to move, so the deflection must be zero. So you're going to have two types of two types of um, how want to say this increases in length. They're trying and they're going to work against each other. First, as a result of the force, you have compression. So you could say the deflection due to the force in the aluminum material make that negative because it's compressing it's going to be negative plus expansion due to temperature in A and I'll make that minus again we're going to so we're done with the the aluminum then we go to the bronze as a result of the force in the bronze plus expansion due to temperature in the bronze and minus the um, force in the steel plus the change in temperature which causes it to expand and will make the temperature of the steel must equal zero. That's the, that's the key to this because it can't change. All right, so what we're going to do basically is to do this. You're going to do PL over AE for increases in length when a force is being applied where, where the F is the P. You're going to use that one, and you're also going to use the one up here. So we'll just write this all down. Again, we don't know force. So we'll say minus F, and we do the length, and the length was in feet. So we've got to change that to inches, so it would be 48 inches over the cross-sectional area, which will be pi d squared divided by 4, and it's going to be 12. And you can do, you can do it either one. You can do pi d squared over 4 or pi r squared. I'll just do pi r squared. And then times the... Uh, 
E value, which in this case will be 10.6 times 10 to the 6. Okay, and then um, plus, and we're using the above equation here. And if you look up the uh, linear coefficient of expansion for aluminum, that value will be about 12.8 times 10 to the minus 6. times the change in temperature and our change in temperature we started at 70 we went to 110 so that would be 110 minus 70 so in that case that would be 40 and again we just all we have to do is multiply it by the length we just follow this equation here which would be 48 inches and you're going to do that for each one of these again you're not going to know F on any of these so it would be F we go back to length, that one's 6, so 6 times 12 will be 72. Times pi. Has a diameter of 8, so we make that 4 squared. Times the E value, which is 15 times 10 to the 6. Plus we look up the um, the linear coefficient due to temperature for the bronze is going to be 9.6 times 10 to the minus 6 times the length again which will be 72 oops got to do change temperature sorry 40 times 72 and then we go over and we do the same thing again. We do minus F times 3 times 12. That will give me 36 over pi r squared. And that one has a diameter of 4, so radius of 2. times the E value of that material, steel, which is 28 times 10 to the 6. And once you get this all in here, I'm going to squeeze this in here. Uh, linear coefficient for um, steel and expansion, 9.6 times 10 to the minus 6, times 40 with change in temperature, times a length of 36, right? Yeah, 36. And that's all equal to zero. And all you're going to do in this case is solve for f. It takes a little bit of work, but you can solve for it. Um, and you'll get f as equal to 277.7 kips. And then if you want to, if the object, let's see what the objective was with the find the stress. Yeah, find normal stress. And in that case, you're just going to do f over a. So to find the... Um, the aluminum. We take this value here, 277.69 or 70, either one, divided by the area, which would be pi times 6 squared. You 2.46 kips. I'm sorry, not kips, KSI. Do the same thing for the. Uh, the bronze. Again, you're using the same F value because that's all the material is going to feel. Do the same thing for the uh, steel. It's really not too hard of a problem. It's just uh, maybe the most difficult is just recognizing that the force will be the same throughout. But if you think about it, it does make sense. That's it. So those are your three values. Again, not too hard of a problem. The harder problem maybe is just trying to find out what the F was going to be here, here, and here. 
and maybe setting it up might be difficult, but other than that, it's not bad.